Hey guys, it's Tasty Guava. Welcome back to another video on the More Guava channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I render my videos inside of Sony Vegas or Magix Vegas, whatever you want to call it. I'm using Vegas Pro 18, but it doesn't really matter what version you're using. You can be using Vegas Pro 20, which is the latest as of be uploading, or an older version. It'll still work the same, and I still think these are the best settings to render with. file at the top left, click render as, and then over here you're going to see a bunch of formats. What I use is called Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. I highly recommend this. It works the best. It renders really quickly and it looks really good. Anyways, you can select anything on the Internet HD. I recommend clicking on like the NVIDIA NVENC Internet UHD 2160p. Save your own format after you edit it. So we're going to click on customize template. And then over here is where you could type in the whatever name and save it afterwards. But the frame size is UHD 2160. That is 4K. Um, 4K is the new standard on YouTube. It makes the videos look a lot better, a lot more crisp. And it looks really nice with your video having a 4K badge instead of 1080p HD. Um, and if you are working with 4K footage, you're going to be not downscaling the video. Next, you're going to click on profile and you're going to want to select high. I believe normally it's on main, but you want to click on high. Frame rate, this really depends on your project. Um, I mainly make gaming videos, so I render at 60 FPS. Um, normally, games, you know, you could record at a much higher frame rate, but YouTube can only display up to 60 FPS. Here we have the field order. We're going to leave it at none progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio one. All this is going to be. Um, grayed out, but we have a variable bitrate. I like to have my maximum at 85,000 and my average at 70,000. That's how many uh, bytes per second or bits per second are in the video. Um, I will leave a, in the description a page on YouTube on what you should be using here. It's basically just how much information is for your video, um, which will heavily affect how it looks. Just putting the video at 1080p, or sorry, 4K, won't make it look extra crisp. You need to have a high bitrate for the video as well. Next, for the encoder, I use NV Encoder, which is NVIDIA. Uh, if you are using a NVIDIA GPU, I believe 20 series and after, or maybe it's 10 series and after, you have a chip on the uh, NVIDIA GPU that makes it encode a lot quicker. Uh, the preset, I'm going to be using high quality, and the RC mode is VBR high quality. VBR just stands for variable bitrate, uh, but it still looks really good. Under audio, I have include audio, obviously. The sample rate is 48, and then the bitrate is 320,000. And then for the system, it's left as normal, and then project. You're going to be setting your video rendering quality to best the stereoscopic 3D mode as product settings. If you are using a 3D video, then I recommend looking up a different tutorial. The color space, I leave it as default. You don't want to really touch this. And then the color range, you can put it as full, but I like to leave it as limited. It doesn't really affect the video. And then you can save it as whatever you want to call it. So up here, you can name it as like YouTube 4K. And then you're just going to want to click the save icon and then it'll pop up in here. You click the little star and it'll save. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope this does help you guys out. Again, this works on really any version of Vegas. And for me, these are the best settings to use at 4K. The videos will look super crisp. They'll look really good. They'll render pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I, I hope this helps you guys out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.